Hi, Eric here from Laser Scanning TV company, Laser Scanning Europe. Uh, you know, that's the channel for all news to hardware, software and accessory for speedy laser scanners. We have summer, we have July 21. Um, I was thinking that all people was on the beach and relaxing or do a little bit fishing. But I find a lot of interesting news and the fish goes up. Yeah, let us start with hardware like uh, we do it in every session. Um, our friends from Faro, they announced or they launched a new uh, Faro arm. Uh, I think I hear a long time nothing new from Metrology, but now they make a big upgrade in their measurement arm. Uh, we can see it here. And I think the most update what I understood is that they bring new um, laser line probes. Also, these are small laser scanners on top of the arm. And now they um, have the option to go up to three laser lines before they had only one. Now they have three and this gives them a big advantage. And they have um, three uh, models from the laser line, they call them LLP. Um, and they have the XR, XP and XS series. And they tell that with the new laser, I think they switched for some years to the blue laser and now they have this V and now they should be able to also scan compl complex surfaces like shiny or dark surfaces without any um, additional spraying. Uh, that is a big advantage for the customer. And, um, and also they have a new advantage in speed up to 30% and I think for large area at all they have only 65%. Also they, they have this V series, the XR is for high precision. Uh, without uh, spraying or with spraying, but they should give you 30% better accuracy and resolution to the older one system. Then they have the XP, this is in, um, how you call them, compromise between both XR and XS. It's for resolution and for speed, something in the middle. And then they have the XS who have, um, um, for big surfaces, uh, have not the highest accuracy, but you can scan um, um, expand surfaces very quickly and um, you should be able 65% faster. That is what Faro said. Uh, it's running like uh, in the FaroCam 2 software and maybe, I don't know, in the future maybe there ones also, you know, there's also some SDKs for Polyworks or Geometric and other programs. I don't know if they bring it also out. Okay, jump. let us jump to the next system is the Trimble MX50. Um, they uh, announced uh, this new system. It's a new mobile mapping system for asset management uh, from Trimble based on the X9 system uh, or the MX9 uh, system and then now it's MX50. Uh, they are, I think they use the sensors from the tripod scanner X7 inside. These are the two small ones. If you are interested to getting all information to this mobile mapping system, uh, for asset management and also for railway uh, management and railway control, railway construction. Uh, you can uh, check also our big videos, what we done, where we um, um, uh, explain everything in detail to this product. Okay, then next one, there is a Chinese producer, uh, I CH Snef, um, I told for my Colleague from uh, Chinese colleague, that means like serving something, uh, so we do serving, it's the name. And they um, announced the Alpha Air 450 is an airborne LiDAR system built, built in with uh, inertial motion units, GNNS, 3D scanner, and camera, and all together in this pack. You have it as a complete solution here. You can mount it as on a um, DJI Levox Matrice uh, system. And this is also what here is inside in this um, system is a Levox uh, scanner from um, DJI. This is the solid state scanner. Then I think they have an own camera gene uh, and the other solution are um, internal coming from them. And it should give you advanced um, accuracy that tell like absolute accuracy five to 10 centimeters. And uh, I don't uh, haven't seen it here in Europe. Uh, but for my uh, hearing, it's maybe also the price can be between 50 and 60,000 euros. It's a similar price range to like a yellow scan have and or maybe yellow scan is a little bit more. It's um, 
a should deliver similar accuracy but uh, and, and results because it's the same technology but there's a lot of uh, done in software they have to compare the final results then uh, yeah but it's interesting that there is more competition in the entry market for mobile scanner lidar scanners from drones now then we have an, another one um, it's Septrino, I'm from, uh, no, it's Xenomatics, it's the solid state producer, I also uh, talked about them in a previous uh, series. Uh, they have like a road, as, as a, um, road asset management um, use case for their um, systems, and other systems autonomous driving, and uh, they are now um, um, combined this with Septrino's high quality GNS and INS system to um, have the tracking if you want to uh, make mobile mapping you have to track your sensor and they are making now um, working together to uh, give a better solution to clients okay then it's time for the fish we go to software software there's a the german startup company auribus announced that they bring auribus ai now in autocad if you like to use it the um, uh, Aurivus is also a video here where we explain how it works. Um, it's um, classification detection of uh, intelligent learning of objects. And like here you can see wall, window detection. And if you like to use it in AutoCAD, you need the Undead plugin for AutoCAD. They cooperate together and then you can use it. Already, it's only AutoCAD for where it is already working with their own plugin. Okay. That's um, the Oreo stuff. Then we have an um, announcement. There is the company Immersal. It's a Finnish uh, startup company, like I think was built in 2015. Or, uh, and there is acquired by Hexagon. Hexagon, uh, as you know, it's the big uh, it's the, the, um, company or the holding behind uh, Leica and other brands, uh, like metrology brands and also software brands. And uh, they acquire them, and um, they want to use these in spatial mapping, in visual position. Um, that is the application, and I think there will be integrated these technology. I think they are mostly interest, interested in the technology in their own product world in the future. That is what I expected. Then another software provider, our friends from PointCap, they are already announced uh, that they have now, you can see it here, the PointCap um, uh, software for Mac iOS ready. I think that is maybe the first one who have an iOS version. I'm not sure if you know there's somebody else, then maybe put this in the comment here inside. Um, but you can now buy PointCap Origin and PointCap uh, Pro. You can buy this for your Mac system. It's maybe interesting for architects. I think that's the heavy user of Apple system and if they want working with scan data in their Mac uh, um, um, world, then they can now use point gap. I'm pretty interested how this will be influenced the market for this customer group. If, if people need a Mac version or a, is a Windows version total okay for the market. Okay, and then we have also a little bit software on uh, here on, on site is uh, dot product. Uh, jump here in our web shop. It's uh, okay. I have to switch here to English. We have an as they done uh, for a couple of months uh, rebranding of their software. You have subscription license. You can go to one, two, three years, uh, and you have perceptual license. And uh, yeah, you have different version. And the interesting what uh, they done and what we integrated in our web shop is that you definitely have now an overview here. Uh, I have to check. It's now that's only in German here. Uh, we move here to English, but this is not complete English. More interesting. I have to ask them. You can see here what you can do. I think we will find this also on the dot product side. It's you know you have the free version where you can do a little bit and can display stuff, but you are not able to do many processing steps. Then you have the edit version where you can process uh, data. You have the light version. You have the X version, which is pretty um, full. You have only some integration export there not allowed. And then you have the Pro version where you can do everything. That's uh, definitely interesting. And if you know the scanner, you can combine them with uh, mobile phones, with tabs. You can have it in, um, how you call them, 
uh, in a housing, uh, you can put uh, sensors on, mostly they're working with Intel RealSense and other Intel products. There's different sensors available, you can connect it in by themselves or you can buy them from the product and then they are calibrated. Yeah, for a German customer, um, I think we are the most interesting address and of course we know we have also a few customers from Scandinavia, they purchase these software from us, also there is some new options. Now it's time for the fish again. Uh, we go to accessories, it's small in our shop. For people, um, we have here these, um, these removable um, uh, systems, um, checkerboards, not systems. And now uh, we change this. I have to look if we do it also with the other ones. What we change is that uh, from customer request, we deliver in the past only 50 pieces. Now we can deliver 100 pieces is a bigger option here also you get a better price uh, if you buy the big pack also for these guys they're interested having um, having checkerboard targets checkerboard stickers that's your choice and in this case what my fish is saying before he say bye bye he see subscribe the channel give us a thumbs up in this case bye bye until the next episode